Hey everybody, Sunday, heading out to the cutting job, work on the harvester, and by golly yesterday I got that head working. I think all the functions are functioning, it seemed like it. I gotta finish tidying up all the wiring on it today. I gotta put a plug end on the one side of the cable that I put in and fish everything back through where all the old stuff came out of, put a couple brackets back on. That's probably what I'll get to today with the time I have. Um, I'll still have to tighten up the feed rollers, sharpen the knives, and there's a hub that needs to go in there somewhere. Figure it out when I get to it. But by golly, we're getting somewhere. Couldn't believe I made it work yesterday. We had to get a new wiring cable for it. It's like, uh, what is it, seven wire cable? The old one was too short, so the guy I'm cutting for bought the harvester. He was cut a tree off with it, and he was reaching over or something like that to grab it to pull it closer to him. He was rolling it back and forth to delimit, and everything went dead on him. So, with uh, searching through everything, found out that some wires broke up inside the crane area where the dangle head attaches. Some wiring broke up there. And when it broke, it shorted out, blew some fuses, or basically shut the whole system down on it. So, I figured that out that was the problem we got the new cable for it with plenty of length uh, won't be too short now and if it does break again we'll at least have something to wire to splice to we can at least have I don't know it's like three feet extra cable now we can hook it and wire to if something stupid were to happen again but uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere. I'll have to put a new chain on it. We got a new chain already. Um, then basically go out and practice with it. I got until mid-March at this job. And we'll see how much I can get done because Valerie's got to go in for a stem cell soon. And then I'll have to move the skitter and the harvester to uh, be doing a red pine plantation second thinning. I guess he wants it thinned out pretty good. So the trees aren't very tall. They're going to be kind of bushy. I've hand cut and done the thinnings like that in the red pine plantations and done uh, full clear cuts in the red pine plantations, but I'm hoping the harvester will definitely put some wood on the ground. That's its job. That's what it should do. Like I said before, I won't be able to measure any of the trees out because the measuring system on it's no good. There's some bad sensors and stuff in there and the uh, measuring wheel is all jacked up. So I won't be able to measure nothing, but I'm going to, I guess, I'll take a stick with me that's uh, 8 foot 8, 104 inches, and I'm going to paint it orange or pink. And I got to carry it with me to the trees that I'm going to go cut. Basically, I'll zip my tree off and use that as my measuring device. I'll just zip off the trees next to it by eye as best as I can. As long as it's within a few inches, it's not a big deal. So, that's about all I can do. That'd be nice to be able to get some production out instead of hand cutting everything.
not that I'm tired of hand cutting or nothing, but I love love running the chainsaw and everything. It's just I think it'd be cool to try something different. The only issue is is that I ain't never been in one before except for the little bit that I've done now myself. I ain't never saw one work in person. I've only saw them work in YouTube. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Hopefully I don't have it laying on its roof. Because I went to uh, swing the crane over to set underneath the pine tree. I swung it over about 90 degrees to the left of me to set it underneath the pine tree. And I didn't have it raised up high. And I didn't have it extended out either. Just had it sucked all the way in. And it was only about two feet off the ground, sucked in, just carrying it over to my left side about 90 degrees and it didn't even get 90. And that whole machine wanted to tip over. Not that it wanted to tip over. The tires started coming up off the ground. I mean, right now. It came off the ground quick. So I had to drop the whole crane down so I didn't tip over. Then I had to kind of drag it across to my right until I was about 45, 40 degrees, somewhere around there, and then I was okay. So I guess if I'm going to be cutting trees down, they're going to have to be right in front of me or just barely to my left or right, depending on the size they are. Supposedly, it can cut a 25-inch tree straight off, and that's a pretty good-sized tree be cutting straight off. And, uh, like I said, it's going to be a learning experience and I'm going to be finding out a lot of things here pretty quick. So, my main concern is flipping it over. I'm not too worried about dropping one on the roof or on me or anything. Dropping a tree on myself. I understand the physics of uh, how you got to grab the tree with the head it's just uh, how far out I can reach it's my biggest concern so that being said I'm gonna get off of here guess if I get a chance I'll do a little videoing of the machine I might go out and play with it today out on the wood pile and try and grab a stick off of it and see if I can zip some cuts off of a stick see how the functions work for the tip and everything and just pretty curious about it I guess so if I get a chance I'll do that on video so I'll talk to you all later well I'm heading back home got it all back together everything's done except for I gotta adjust the rollers for the feed do that in the morning right away and uh, I think I'm just going to run the chain that's on it. The hub that's bad wasn't bad in my opinion. There ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just natural play inside the, the pump itself for the feed rollers. They're supposed to wobble back and forth and each one wobbles the same. So anything I've ever messed with like that, they have natural play in them. And it seems natural to me, not, not ordinary. Sorry I didn't get no video of anything that I did. Uh, just wanted to go, go, go and get it done. Valerie's waiting on me. She wanted to go to town and get some stuff. So regardless of that, tomorrow I'm going to do those couple things with it. Make sure it's got fuel in it. And see if I can, you can't see me there. See if I can flip her over and put her on the roof. Later, everybody.